Welcome. It's day eight of our 40 daily 10 minute places of pause. So glad you're here. Uh, we're going to start today with a moment to be still. And then we're going to dive into uh, a short excerpt about arms flung open in a moment. It's very timely. And then a threefold pop of being still again pondering and engaging or committing. But first, as I was thinking about um, how to begin this moment of stillness together, I want to invite you again to compose yourself wherever you are listening to this, watching this. Take in what is around you, the sounds, the sensations, Kind of plant your feet, lean on against your chair or the wall or the sofa. Take a deep breath. And my invitation is for you to take a moment right here and now. Consider what is one thing that you desperately long for, hope for today. Something you need. If you're a writer, write it in your journal. If you're a prayer, imagine sharing that with your connection with the sacred. If you're one that just loves to voice and share things. Imagine whispering it, kind of declaring it. Heck, go ahead and shout it if you can. And imagine that as you give voice to it, that it, that it indeed sets some things in motion. And then kind of take that same idea that same invitation and consider a, a story you've heard from a friend or family member or on the news, a need that you have heard outside of your personal need. And imagine doing that same thing, sharing that sense of longing or desire on behalf of this person in a prayer, in your journal, in a sense of kind of sending love, blessing, good, good vibes to that person or place. Kind of playing with that both and, the rubber band of, of the me and the we in a way that becomes very interconnected. So if your eyes are closed, go ahead and bat them open. Today, day eight, we're going to talk about this idea of living with our arms flung open. I have a question for you to start. Have you been tempted now or in the past to lop off limbs or hide big parts of yourself, believing that if you share that aspect of who you are, people will be unable to handle it and will turn away. Have you lived scared that you will be misunderstood and judged if you truthfully speak about that thing or what really matters to you? Or are there things in others Um, ways that they trigger you, people, places, politics, and that, like, I don't want to touch that sort of a thing. Me too, I get that. But a nudge. Take a look at the diversity that exists between you and those nearest and dearest to you, your spouse, kids, family, or closest friends. Today, 
explore, experiment, and experience what happens when you walk more often with a sense of openness to people that you feel maybe uncomfortably unlike you. Living with your arms flung open, might it bridge you in a way that feels good to you with others? This is a radical resolution, a brave way to be sure. This is a courageous commitment that is even more important and perhaps difficult when dissimilarities are vast and in seasons like this when we are living with great, frequent, epic messages of fear, distancing, division. It can be discouraging. But in the midst of today, my friend, how about it? Are you ready? Might you, might we commit to living a bit more with your, with our arms flung open to yourself, to others? I believe when you do, you will discover and you will offer a balm for healing, energy for next steps and leaps, joy for the arduous days, meaning in the minutia, worth in the diminishment, peace in the quarantine, hope, connection amidst the social distancing. I believe you will find, as you do, kindred soldiers for the battle, conceivers of and collaborators for your big dreams. Yes, you, we will be lit up and we will live ablaze. First, as we enter into our eighth pop, be still, surrender, my friend, take these moments, just be here, open in your heart, be still. Second, ponder, go deeper. What parts of you do you hide? fearing judgment or disconnection from people closest to you? Are they related to your political views, spiritual beliefs, the highs and lows of your bank account? A very real thing right now. Or how you look, how you feel, something else. How might you invite others to be more real and raw themselves? wholeheartedly sharing themselves with you. In what ways might this shift the ways in which you think about differences in the bigger community of your mighty human family? These are big questions. If you have some time, might you take this outside of these 10 minutes and into a walk, maybe around your backyard, maybe around your apartment, around your neighborhood if you're allowed. Thirdly, engage, commit, a nudge. Find one time today and either share a raw and real part of yourself with another, a part you typically hide and or welcome the same in another. Consider having this interaction with someone near and dear to you, someone with whom you are very intimate with, but from whom you might hide this part of yourself. Share something from this pop with someone you trust. Again, if that's us here in this platform, comment below. If it's intimate and private, send me a message. Don't go it alone. 
These are isolating, challenging days, and no one can go it too long, too far, alone. So my dear friend, a reminder, a blessing, you are loved, you belong, we belong to each other. Let's rise, let's stand tall and light up the world. Peace.